Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Today we're going to be making another British classic. As the weather turns cooler, you start to think about stews and pies and also puddings, desserts. And this is one of the, the, the finest desserts you can make. We're going to make a jam roly poly and we're going to serve it with fresh custard. first thing you need to do is to set your oven temperature. If you're using a fan oven, you want to, a fan assisted oven, you want to set it to 350 Fahrenheit, which is 180 Celsius, or 375 Fahrenheit, which is 200 Celsius if it's not fan assisted. I'm choosing to go non-fan assisted. And the reason I'm choosing that is because we've also got in there a large baking tray with some boiling water in because we're going to create some steam in the oven. So that needs to go on before you start any of your mixing. So I'm uh, just editing the video and I've noticed that one of my cameras wasn't recording. Uh, I did press record and it's created a data file rather than a video file. So for the first few minutes of the video you're only going to get to see the close-up uh, rather than the, the two angles that we normally see. I do apologize for that. I don't know what happened, the, uh, maybe the memory card had a problem or something, but uh, yeah, so you, you get all the audio and all the instructions, but uh, just some of the video is not quite as, uh, as good as I would have liked. So let's get on with it. And into a large mixing bowl, we're going to add 200 grams of self-raising flour. That's seven ounces. We're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. We're going to add a pinch of salt. I'm going to give that a mix together. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, vanilla essence. Then goes 100 grams or three and a half ounces of shredded vegetable suet. If you don't know what suet is, if you're watching somewhere in the world where suet's not a, a thing, it's, this is what I think of when I think of suet. This is a vegetarian version. They also do a beef suet, which is obviously non-vegetarian. And uh, the, so the brand name is Atora and it, uh, it's a, this is a vegetable shredded suet. It's, it's, it's a type of fat to, to traditionally coming from the uh, from a cow from a yeah so so that's what so it is and we give that a mix together so so in this jug we have 150 milliliters of milk which is three quarters of a cup or six fluid ounces. Now you don't want to add this all together because as I keep saying, all our flowers are different. So if I add all this and it, uh, it works for me, it might not work for you. So I suggest you add maybe three quarters of it and see how it goes. We want this mixture to be fairly sticky, fairly soft, but not, not ridiculously so. But we don't want it dry like this. This is, this is far too dry. And it might be that I need more than 150 ml. I might have to add a little bit more milk. My flour might be different. So that's all my 150 ml of milk gone in. I think I might need to add a little bit more. So. Still some, actually, I don't feel too bad actually. What we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna mix this and we're gonna roll it out 
on our work surface. So I'm going to get that ready. I'm going to put some flour down. Give it a mix together. Yeah, it's feeling pretty good actually, is that? I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't put any more in. So it's it's soft but and sticky but holding together, which is just about what we want. We've got to get my tape measure out because we need to measure this not overly accurately, over, overly accurately, but we need to make sure that we're in the right sort of area. Once you've got it coated with flour, we can start to roll it. We want it to be 23 by 33. So I need to go a little bit more. Just to make sure that that's not stuck, I'm going to carefully pick it up. Turn it over. There we go. You want to try and roll it so that it's fairly evenly, even thickness, obviously, but uh, it's going to get rolled up, so it's not the end of the world if it's a, if it's not perfect. Well, I'm about 34 there, and I'm about 22 there, so I think if I just Tweak this out a little bit, try and square it up. That is not going to be too far off. I'm just going to wash my hands. So before we roll it up, we need to get a piece of parchment paper and a piece of foil. And your parchment paper needs to be 40 centimetres by 30 centimetres, which is 16 by 21. Uh, by 12 inches, sorry, 16 by 12 inches, and your foil needs to be bigger than that. And we're going to put a good, generous coating of butter onto the parchment paper, onto your baking paper. Then we take our jam. that out. I'm going to use the back of this spoon, it's fine, you can use a knife if you want. Yeah, so you spread your jam out, but don't go all the way to the edge, because it will, some is going to come out of the edges anyway, and if you go too far to the edge, we're just going to end up with a, a big sticky mess. So they look like there were going to be a lot of jam there, which is, uh, but as you can see, when it's spread out, it's not, don't look too bad. So I'm using strawberry jam, you can use raspberry jam, you could use blackberry jam, cherry jam. I'm going to roll that up. Nice and, nice and carefully. And we end up with a seam on the bottom. We're going to carefully pick this up. Press it on our. I'm going to pinch these edges down just a little bit just to try and keep some of that jam in. What I like to do, I like to 
put one over the top, one over like that. Same on this side. And you can see I'm not doing that too tight. Because there is going to be some, there's going to be some expansion in there. You don't want to try and seal that edge because there is going to be some moisture in that the oven and we don't want too much getting inside our, into our pudding, our jam roly poly. Pop that onto a baking tray and we put that into our prepared oven for 50 minutes. So once your jam roly poly is in the oven, we can start turning our thoughts to the custard. And of course, you could go the easy way and you could buy a tin of custard or even better, you could go and buy some fresh custard from a supermarket. But as with everything, it's going to taste much better if you make your own. So I'm going to put the recipe for the custard at the end, as I usually do. Um, and I'm just going to call out the ingredients rather than the volumes because I'm making a half portion of custard because there are only two of us. If there are four of you, you'll make the full portion. If there are eight of you, you'll make double. So I will put up multiple quantities at the end so you can make the, the, the custard as, as you see fit. So you need some cream, your single cream or double cream. I'm using heavy whipping cream, which is like a double cream and you need some milk and if you have one we're going to add a if you can get one out a vanilla pod if you don't have a vanilla pod don't worry too much about it I would again I would add a little bit of vanilla essence vanilla extract but uh, if you do have a vanilla pod great if not don't worry about it and what we're going to do is we're going to put this onto the the heat and we're slowly going to bring this to the simmering point then we're going to switch it off turn it off for around about 15 minutes just let that vanilla pod infuse when your time's up remove your roly-poly from the oven and just leave it to to sit for a few minutes before you unwrap it so after 15 minutes of, uh, of standing you can remove the, uh, the vanilla pod if you can get hold of it and I'm not going to throw that away I'm going to rinse that dry it and put it back into the vodka into a large bowl you need to add your sugar egg yolks and your corn flour and we take a whisk Make sure that there's no lumps in there. And then we return the custard to the pan. We put that onto the heat very gently. Bring that to the simmer, at which point it will thicken. And that'll be our custard ready.
once you've got your custard ready and your roly-poly has cooled for a few minutes you can go ahead and serve it with in a warm bowl generous portions and enjoy Wow. So want to come and try a piece? No, no, camera, I'll tell you. sneak off camera, she will. Oh yeah. That is so good.